Hello folks, Gordon Miller here. I uh, making this little video for the Roger Raglan uh, diet Facebook page. Uh, I, I've noticed uh, some questions uh, I, I, I've seen on there about is spaghetti squash acceptable and my answer to that is yes. It was a mainstay in my diet along with rice cauliflower, broccoli, uh, zucchini, yellow squash, butternut squash, any of the squashes, I acorn squash, had them all and had them regularly and I still do now because I really enjoyed them. Now the spaghetti squash, I have one right here that's a little big and I'm going to show you how I prepare the squash. Um, uh, this one's a little too big to do what I normally do. If I had something half this size or smaller, I would poke it full of holes and, and uh, with a fork all the way around it to let the pressure out and put it in the microwave on a plate for about 20 minutes and you, and then cut it open and seat it and however you're going to prepare it. So let me get started here and I'll show you how I, uh, how I like to do mine. Okay, well I've got the spaghetti squash in the microwave uh, cooking. I'm sautéing, uh, uh, cooking my venison burger and uh, some uh, mushrooms, onions, and peppers that I have uh, diced up a little bit and I mix that with the meat. I have found uh, that when I, especially if I do like elk burgers or, or uh, uh, venison burgers, by mixing them with a lot of vegetables it, it stays juicier. It's not not near as dry uh, to the taste. So when this, this spaghetti squash is finished, I'll uh, show you the final product. Okay, spaghetti squash is done. The venison is done. The venison I sauteed again with the, uh, some peppers and onions and mushrooms and I added some spices, salt, pepper, oregano, basil, uh, flavored up a little bit. I've got some sauce over here heating. Um, I did the spaghetti squash in a casserole dish with a little bit of water and covered with cellophane and did it for 20 minutes and it has come out perfect. Now you can see how it, it just floats right away. It's ready to be picked out. Now I don't dig mine out. I use it as a boat and I eat it as I go. So I'm going to take some of the venison and fill the boat and it will probably be about six seven ounces maybe more of venison pile it up there a little bit I'm gonna have some left over for lunch tomorrow probably nice maybe just another little scoop over there now I'm going to add some sauce to it this is sugar-free sauce. It is Borella's marinara. It is sugar-free and a half a cup. And I got nowhere near half a cup there. Well, I guess maybe close. It's only 50 calories. So, and it's a tomato. Now, I'm on maintenance, so I'm going to throw a little cheese on top of there. So, there you go. There's my supper for tonight. Really looking forward to it. Uh, matter of fact, I've been thinking about this for a couple days ever since I saw that post about spaghetti squash. I said, oh yeah, got to do it. Take care. Have a good evening. Enjoy your meal. Just a quick postscript. Uh, this is what it looks like when you're done. And no, I could not eat it all. Uh, now I've got a little little something extra for tomorrow, but you don't have to do it the way I did it. Sometimes I use uh, a, a taco seasoning, fajita seasoning uh, in the meats and put in there uh, and I'll sprinkle, uh, use blue cheese, uh, Walden Farm blue cheese dressing over top of it uh, for topping. And you don't have to uh, use uh, burger. Uh, you can use uh, ground turkey, uh, uh, ground pork even, good lean pork. If, if, if you have one of those uh, heavy-duty mixers at the house, buy one of those attachments for grinding. That's what I use, and I grind my own stuff. I'll buy it bulk at the grocery store uh, at, when it's on sale and grind it myself, portion it out, and freeze it. Ground turkey, ground pork, 
You've got it for when you need it. Take care. Enjoy.